guys, so now I'm going to show you my dorm and one really big thing about my own room is that it used to be a single and then I believe a year or two ago they did turn it into a double but I currently have it as a single so that's why there's two sets of furniture so there's two desks in here, two dressers and two beds which I pushed together to make one big bed so let's jump into on it. On the shelf I have a little light box where I can change out the words and I'd also like to bring little personal pictures to remind you of home. And then pan over, window, the school does supplies with blinds. I don't have them up right now. Here is my tapestry. I got it from Society66. Here is my little trash can, very handy. And then pan over, here's the desk. I have a TV up here, uh, some decorations. Um, here is my bathroom. A little shower, a sink toilet, mirror, everything you need. It does have some outlets, or a single outlet, if you wanna use a hair dryer or whatever. Do you bring these command hooks? They're really helpful to hang things like bathrobes, towels. Here's my dresser. I have some miscellaneous stuff inside that one. I also have these really little command hooks that I use to hold up these string lights. Turn them on, boom, one with a remote control. I think it spruces up the room a little bit. And here is a decorative mirror that I also got. And here is my dresser, it's really messy right now, but it has a mirror, jewelry, plant, lotions. Um, yeah, and then there's these two little lamps that I can turn on. Here are my dresser drawers, and I have some clothing in there. And then here is the main closet, you just like pull it open like this. And I have some more supplies up top, clothing in there. I did get a shoe rack, which is at the bottom right here. And then here's another desk. Um, I have some miscellaneous things. Desks do you have this one big drawer where I keep some things in. And not all the desks have hutches. There's two different kinds of desks. These ones do have hutches, but I just keep some books up top. And this is my bed. And I'm currently sitting on top of it doing some work. And now I have my blinds installed, which are pretty sweet for keeping the light out in the morning. And that is my view of downtown. Welcome to my overview of all the different freshman living options. So I live in Vetter Hall, which I will soon show you, and there are Schwartz and McDonnell, which are the ones uphill, and then there's Smith and Vetter, which are the downhill options. The res colleges are McDonnell and Smith. So I do have friends that are in res colleges there and they love it. One big thing about Bucknell is that you can't pick your roommate going into the year and you basically put your preferences on it, some things about you, and then they match you up with someone that they think would be good for By Smith, which is another freshman dorm. And then we're going to my hall, which is called Vetter Hall. So right here is my dorm building. It's called Vetter Hall. This is called Smith. And as we walk here, you can see that Smith continues all the way and then Vetter continues right over here. Path that goes right through there and it goes to the gym. Oh, Vetter is composed of singles, doubles. There are quads in Smith. The third thing about Vetter is that it's at the bottom of the hill. So although you do have to go up the hill when you go to classes, it's really close to downtown. Here we have the Office of Transportation and Housing Services. So everything's really convenient being in Vetter because we have a lot of those offices in our own dorm building. So Vetter is comprised of four floors total and there's two half floors, um, two and a half and three and a half are single gender floors and I'm on three and a half. So I have an all girls room. Hallway. It does have a private bathroom as do some of the singles in Vetter, but every hall has its own communal bathroom which most people use. I would say one of the main perks of being better is that it's so close to downtown. So if you want to go out at night and coming back, it's not going to be a long, hard trek going back uphill if you lived in McDonald or Schwartz Halls, which are So uphill. that is the outside of Vetter Hall again. And then right over here is Hunt Hall. And that is where girls who join sororities will live in. But not everyone will get to live in here because space is limited. This is the front of Hunt Hall again. And right over here, it's called Bucknell Hall. It's used for lectures, poetry readings. So these are the gateways and juniors and seniors live here. It's basically a circle of these buildings and then those are some stairs to go up campus and that's Roberts right there, which is another dorm. Right out to the little junior quad, I mean sophomore housing. 